this business turn out to be in the other than the way on this from Singapore. Friends, after 60, today I'll be going back. After 60 years, there are certain excellence you should do. Everybody must be telling you that do lots of jogging and even the treadmill. No. If you do too much of jogging and treadmill, there is every possibility that you may increase the wear and tear of your knee joints. And that can cause aggravation of your posture at that time. Preferably, if you are doing treadmill, fine. But don't do too much of it. Try to do isolated exercises and do one other thing, which will increase your muscle power. Just a few minutes of this. I just finished my tennis and now I am going to work out in the gym. Now, this cabinet will show me today and will show you the weight. This is around 90 pounds, isn't it? 90 pounds weight. So now I will be flexing this. This will increase my power on the particular weight. The joints and the biceps and my chest. So this you should be able to do at least 15 times or 20 times, as many as possible, till you get tired. And this you can have some repetitions, like minimum to three repetitions of the set. And each set should consist of at least 11 to 20 of this one. I think. So what I was telling, after 60, everybody would be telling you walking and jogging and treadmill. No, preferably avoid. Even for youngsters, I would say don't do too much of treadmill because of running and jogging and treadmill. There is any possibility of wear and tear on the knee joints and when you reach 60 and above, you will be limping. Forget about running, you will be definitely limping with your aggravating uh, this uh, jogging as well as treadmill. So avoid, you can do it, please do it, but don't overdo it. Do more of these isometric exercises to tone and shape your body. You spend just 5 to 15 minutes in such exercises. Your body will come to a shape. See, for a sportsman and an athlete, you got to one particular shape. You do whatever amount of jogging, you will not gain one particular shape, a V shape. I don't know how we cut V shape, but definitely yes, to some extent. Thanks to this exercise, I so much don't, don't, don't switch off. Don't switch off. Some more. See, now this exercise, I put around 100 pounds on this exercise. See, how I am doing it. See, how comfortable it is. It's too comfortable despite so much of the area. I don't mind putting some more. So, it goes around more than 100. And then yeah. Now let's see. see. Have we kept it on? Yes. These exercises will increase your muscle power of the biceps, triceps, the joints, and the chest muscle. At the same time, it will have stretch on your rectus abdominis. The rectus abdominis and neck muscles also will be exercised. Just spend 10 minutes. 15 minutes at the most each day and you will be well cut, well shaped person with no time. One more thing, what else we have? These isometric and isotonic exercises. Spend just 10 15 minutes. Don't spend too much of time. You are actually shaping. You look like an athlete or a sportsman without a punch. And these exercises are the short bit uh, good looks. Okay, so let's see how I do this. So I put a weight of around 80 pounds. Let's see whether I can do it comfortably or Absolutely comfortably I'm doing at 80 pounds. So I would like to increase it to 90 or 100. Let's see. So even this I'm going to do. Let's see how many I can do. These exercises increase the power and tone of my triceps, deltoids, and forearm as well as arm muscles, that is biceps, triceps, and the knees. 